सतो मा सद्गमया तमसो मा ज्योतिर्गमया मृत्युर्मा अमृत गमया ओ शांति 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 हे ओम लीड अस फ्रॉम द अनरियल टू द रियल लीड अस फ्रॉम डार्कनेस एंड टू लाइट लीड अस फ्रॉम डेथ to immortality om peace 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 eyes shut and eyes open it reminds me of swami ranganath anand ji the 13th president of our order who defined spirituality in this way he said what is spirituality with my eyes shut I look in words and I find peace. I find peace in meditation. And with my eyes open, I look outwards and my attitude is what can I do for you? So when I look in words, I am at peace. And when I look outwards, here is the world. What can I do for you? That's my attitude. And we need to contrast this with our usual state of affairs. And I look I close my eyes in meditation oh my mind is so restless and all sorts of problems are bubbling up meditation is impossible for me when i open my eyes and look outwards it's not what i can do for you it's what i can get from you yes in a gross way uh, it might be appreciation my uh, power money uh, pleasure whatever it is or in a more subtle way you know like facebook likes or something like that you know <laughs> uh, so and hence we don't get any peace neither peace inside nor outside are we of much use to ourselves or to anybody else so this is eyes shut and eyes open spirituality with eyes shut and with eyes open uh, i i think about it if you, if you extend it a little further the motto the spirituality uh, as defined by swami vivekananda and the motto that he gave us in the ramakrishna order atmano mokshartham jagat hitaya cha for your own liberation and for the welfare of all of the welfare of the world for your own liberation and for the welfare of the world notice eyes shut and eyes open if you can extend it that way go further back when jesus was asked what is the most important commandment we grew up on hollywood movies so we no 10 commandments but a rabbi assured me there are at least 530 commandments so it's it's a very reasonable um, question what is the most important commandment my lord and jesus said uh, love the lord thy god with all thy heart and all thy might and you can imagine them snapping their notebooks shut yep got that and jesus said and and what is an and and love thy neighbor <laughs> so love the lord thy god with all thy heart and all thy might eyes shut with eyes open love thy neighbor go even further back in spiritual history in the battlefield of kurukshetra when arjuna was given the essence of the teaching of the bhagavad gita by sri krishna ma manusmara yuddhya cha think of me keep your mind on me contemplate me and fight the battle of life both <laughs> so eyes shut and eyes open it's a wonderful wonderful scene and it just covers all of uh, spiritual life i think it was a buddhist teacher jack cornfield who said in spiritual life you not only have to go away but you have to come back also there was this book or an article after the ecstasy the laundry <laughs> <laughs> so eyes shut and eyes open yes all right sadhana number 2 Uh, in the sequence of self realization in the advaitic tradition i'll start off with a well known story which was used by a great master about 600 years ago vidyarnya swami um this is a story of the 10th man which i have repeated ad nauseum <laughs> but it's specially going to be useful now and vidyarnya swami in his book panchadashi he analyzed he passed this story to outline seven stages on the path to enlightenment in the advaitic path so the story as we all know it is 10 uh, friends go out on a on a trip 
On their way, they cross a river and then they have a doubt. Did we all cross or did somebody drown? Uh, and one of them starts to count. Let me count, let me count. Our 10 of us here. And you know what he does? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That can't be right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my God, the 10th person is drowned. 10th person, our friend is dead. And they all say, let me try, let me try. And they all count, they find only nine people. And they sit down and start crying. And the passerby comes, comes through and asks, uh, what's wrong, my friends? Why are you crying? One of them says, well, sir, it's a tragedy, and there were 10 of us. We went on this journey, and now our, our dear friend uh, drowned while trying to cross this river, and there are only nine of us left now. And obviously, that man must have counted, and he said, how do you know there are only nine? So we counted, and our friend is dead. He's, he is drowned. So this man tells them, don't worry, calm down, relax. Your tenth, the tenth man, the friend is there. The friend is alive and well and there. It's like the guru comes and the texts come and the spiritual traditions come and tell us, relax. God exists. Enlightenment is possible. An end to suffering is possible. Fulfillment is possible. Relax. And the next question, of course, is how, where, where is the tenth man? Where is our friend? I'll show you. Relax. And then he asks one of them, please count. We counted. Well, humor me. Count again. And so he starts counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I told you, nine. And this man takes his hand and turns it around towards himself and says, ten. In Sanskrit, dashamas tuamasi, thou art the tenth. Ten. And this man goes, oh, oh, I see. And let me try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, the tenth man has been found. Wonderful. And the others say, let me try, let me try. And they try, and they all find the tenth man, and they are very happy. So that's the story. And Vidyaranya Swami, we'll see how to apply it. Vidyaranya Swami says the whole of the path is here. Seven stages. The first stage is ignorance. Ignorance. And... Um, this is what is called avarana, the, the hiding fact. What ignorance does, it hides the truth from us. So the tenth man exists is hidden. Somehow this person doesn't know, doesn't realize that he is the tenth man. So it's hidden from him, somehow. Stage one. And we do not know that we are Brahman. The, the fact that this is one limitless existence, consciousness, bliss, and the fact that it is all right, that is hidden from us. We don't know that. Second stage is when he thinks, oh, the tenth man is dead. He must have drowned. See, I can't find the tenth person. And he just crossed a river. Therefore, he must be there. He must have drowned. So that's the stage of what is called vikshepa or, um, you know, uh, superimposition, adhyasa, illusion, error. From ignorance comes error. I mean, don't know it's a rope. You tend to see it as a snake or something else. So from ignorance comes error. And from that error comes stage three, sorrow, suffering, misery, samsara, dukkha. Uh, from ignorance, error. From error, suffering. From not knowing the tenth man to thinking the tenth man is dead, our friend is dead. And from the death of the friend, of course, sorrow, suffering, this is inevitable. From not knowing we are limitless,